Dave here from Apple Junkies 101 and uh, today I'm going to show you really quick how to uh, jailbreak your 3.1 firmware for your iPod Touch 1st Gen, uh, iPhone uh, 2G and your iPhone 3G. This will not work with the iPod Touch 2nd Gen and 3rd Gen and this will not work for the 3GS. All right, uh, I believe that they're going to be coming out with the red snow uh, for that um, sometime soon so stay tuned for that. All right, so basically uh, first step, what you want to do is you want to go to the dev team's website, okay? I believe it's blog.iphone-dev.org, all right? Uh, it's on the main page, so basically what you want to do is you want to scroll down to where it says uh, there's going to be a torrent for the Ponish Tool 3.1. Uh, uh, by the way, this only works for the Mac uh, OS 10. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to get that. You're going to download that. Okay, and the second thing you're going to do is you're going to go to this link here, uh, softpedia.com, um, and you're going to go and, depending if you're, in, in my case, it'll be the, the iPhone 3G. All right, so we're going to click on that. All right, and we're going to get the uh, the 3.1 Restore I, IPSW. All right, and basically what this is going to do is, um, once you download that, you're gonna open up. You're gonna open up uh, the Ponish tool once it's downloaded. All right, and then basically what you want to do is you want to pick uh, your device. All right, so we're gonna go to the iPhone 3G. We're gonna click next. It's gonna search for your IPSW. Basically, what this is gonna do is this is gonna take your IPSW that you downloaded and it's going to recreate it and make it a new custom IPSW. You definitely do not want to upgrade 3.1 from Apple. Uh, there, there are, uh, there have been some problems with that. Uh, if you do, uh, you may not be able ever to uh, uh, jailbreak it again. Alright, so we're going to do that. And uh, this is going to say that you're going to create an IPSW file that you're going to restore to. All right. Uh, do you want to continue? Yes. Okay. Do you have an iPhone contract to activate th through iTunes normally? Check no. Okay. Now it's gonna it's gonna build a brand new IPSW. All right. So now you're just gonna turn the device off. We're gonna be, we're gonna be putting this into a DFV mode. So turn your device off. Wait a second for it to shut down. And you got to get ready because this is going to be a three part thing really quick. You're going to hold down the, uh, the off and the, the power in the home. Home button first. Okay. Now press the home button at the same time. And now you want to let go of the power button and keep your thumb on your the home button. Very straightforward. Okay, now that it's in DFU mode, all you're going to do is now, as you can see, you successfully uh, entered in DFU mode. <clears throat> now we're going to go into iTunes because iTunes just detected that it is in recovery mode. So we are now going to open that up. Actually, let's go. Usually if it doesn't work like that, I just quit it and then start iTunes back up. Okay. Now it's detected in recovery mode. So basically what you're going to do is you are going to press the alt option key on your keypad and you're going to click on restore. Okay, now you have here you have the two IPSWs. This is your normal one and this is the one that's a custom. Okay. You see their custom restore. Okay, so now you're going to choose that. I'm not going to do it cuz I already did it. Uh, I'll show you guys the end result. All right, guys, here you go. Um, when you first boot up, you're gonna get the uh, the pwned pineapple logo, 
Alright, so let me just show you guys really quick. Uh, you can see that. Alright, there you go. 3.1 jailbroken. Where you got it right here? See, there you go. We're already done with the T Mobile. There you go, Cydia. Alright, guys, you guys have any questions, just uh, PM me or comment, and uh, I'll help you guys, guys out any way I can. Alright, see ya.